Do not <laughs> settle for a boring breakfast this weekend when you can have French toast and it's stuffed with bacon and eggs. Oh my gosh, you love French toast, I John. Do. This is like your I'm favorite also thing. Phenomenal at making it. <laughs> I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I just did. But toot toot, yeah. yeah. Uh, here with his favorite French toast recipes, we want to welcome a guy who apparently just rolled out of bed, cooking for dad's host and blogger, Rob Barrett. Uh, really, really dressed up. Uh, Stuff. Thank goodness for the robe. Well, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a good thing. It's, you know, this is the kind of thing you just want to wake up and, you know, roll out of bed and go downstairs and make on a Saturday and have it be really easy. And that's kind of, you know, those are the recipes that I, I like to do. Yeah. Take something and simplify it. But I hate French toast. The, I don't like it. You guys are going to have a fight. And well, it's going to be thrown on all the right. 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 So what I tried to do is find a way. Is there a way that I can make French toast that isn't all soggy? Because I'm a texture guy. So it's the soggy it's thing. It's a soggy made. bread thing. I don't go for it. So oh, I scoured oh. the web and tried to Maybe find Maybe I should take over from here because I know how to make it not soggy. Okay. Uh, no, so okay. here's what you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But okay. Rob, Rob is here for the cooking right, right. segment. Right. So he was going great. So anyways, here's some tips. So what you actually have to do is be really deliberate. You actually have to get serious about it. Oh, man. So here we go. Made me very afraid. Okay. First of all, start with good bread. Yeah. You can use slice like the Thomas English muffin bread if you want, but this is a Kowalski's, the French loaf. It's like a French bread, but it's in a loaf. Yeah. So it's really good. So we're going to cut off the heel here and we're going to cut a half inch piece. You can measure if you want. Okay. So you want to be pretty precise with these. I think this is a nice way to use this up too, because sometimes I have the problem where if I buy a loaf like that, I don't use it up fast enough. But right. if on the weekend you just whip up a bunch of French toast, you're good to go. Exactly. And then for stuff, you almost have to you have to do an inch like oh. this. Then oh, okay. what we're going to do for the stuff is take this knife like this. Uh huh. We're just going to cut a slit. Okay. Right in the middle. And that's where all the good stuffing that's is going to go. All the good stuff go. goes right now. What American um, Test Kitchen found out is that you, if you dry your bread on an oven rack at 350 for 10 minutes, flipping once, uh -huh. it really comes out nice and not soggy. Yeah, oh, so, so it's going to be crispier. Right, and so that's what we've done. We put um, our bread in the oven for 350, five, after five minutes you flip it. This is what I'm saying, you got to take some steps and kind of... Do you just do this? It Right. No, I just... I just cook it for about an hour and a half. And then <laughs> well, then it wouldn't be crispy. All right. Okay, tip number two. Instead of milk, we're going to use half and half. Mm. So a little thicker. Why don't you pour that in this okay. bowl? I like where you're going with that. Right. It doesn't seep in quite as fast, and so it doesn't get the bread soggy. Yep. Then we're going to use just egg yolks, no egg whites. All right. Okay. Three egg yolks. So it's the whites that kind of give it the, the um, eggy smell and taste. And so this way you get all the nice custardy part without that smell. Okay. Okay, one spoonful of vanilla. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put in a pinch of salt. Okay. Many hands make light work. Okay. And then three spoonfuls of the brown sugar. Three spoonfuls brown sugar. Right. Now, is this, this is like the basic batter? Because I know yeah. you've got a few varieties. Right. This is your basic batter. And this is how to make French toast that I actually like. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is, you got is put it in a 9x9 nine nine pan or a 9x13 uh -huh. pan. Pour that in there once that's all stirred up. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's all good and stirred. And you, I know you've got some varieties. You've got like apples and oranges and yep. all this kind of stuff. We're yep. just going to make the, the one with the, oops, that all stirred up. <laughs> okay. We're just going to make the one with the... Uh, Right. Well, so here, so here's the, um, the basic. Basic. Twenty seconds. Wait. Really? Twenty Four. seconds only. Right. Okay. Twenty seconds aside. Only. Camp that's Town a long Racist. Time, Sing I think. the song. Do da do da. Camp Town Racist. If you do two, but that's about oh, twenty seconds. Day. Flip it over. Flip twenty it seconds over. again. Yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna put that in over medium heat for two three minutes with a little butter. All right. That is the the basis for that. That's your basic. Basic French toast comes out looking like this. But we want to stuff it up. Yes. Yes. Yeah, stuff it. All right. This. So first we're gonna do the eggs and bacon. Mm -hmm. So we've dried this out, the same as before. This hasn't been in the oven. But it has you dried it out, right? Mm -hmm. You just you just pull it open, oh, and you put in good. the eggs and bacon. Yeah. I've had sausage and eggs before, and it's really good. But you know, I think the bacon probably would go even better because mm. you got maple bacon, right? Yeah. Right. You bacon can do with that, maple syrup. Right. Hello. Yeah. All right. Do that one. Same thing. Twenty seconds. Okay. Now this we're gonna do the apples. Oh, okay. This is apples and oranges. There's only two things in the world, right? Yeah. Apples and oranges. Mm -hmm. Everything will be contained in this toast then. <laughs> so here's apples with a little orange juice. Just squeeze it like this. Here, Why don't you like this. put oh. that in? How yeah. long do you have to cook them each side then? Uh, two, three minutes. Now just oh. give it a little bit of, of zest. Here, you do that because I'm going to pour zest. syrup on this. All right. Yeah. little zest, mm -hmm. just a tad for the taste, a oh. little sugar. Then that gets stuffed into these. Nice. Like this. So you're going to slice it thin. These are honey crisps. They're in. They cost about $7 an apple. 
but they're good <laughs> still. Okay, you All right. We're going to try these babies. Yeah, we got to try this recipe. That is it. This is so cool. We have uh, the French toast recipes. We got all these recipes yeah. along with others from Rob, too, on our uh -huh. Eat page of our website, TwinCitiesLive.com. Mm, yum. Oh, my gosh. It is crispy. It's like a little chewier. I'm so excited. Because of that bread. Right, right. But it's not soggy. Mm -mm. It's not soggy. It's a nice textury thing. And here you have your, your sweet, your salty, your protein, your starch. Oh. It's like Nirvana breakfast. Breakfast Nirvana, so I'm a big fan. Thank you so much, Rob. Awesome job.